knew there was a nasty plot somewhere down the line. But why is Kuja so cool and powerful? Well, Zidane is, if you think about it. Mm, true, but he ain't got like a, what is it, a Nova Dragon to fly around. Yeah, that, that is a good point, actually, yeah. Zidane doesn't quite have a, a Nova Dragon. He's got a yellow chocolate but <laughs> <laughs> Nova Dragon, is it? I've just got an image now, right? You've got Kuja flying on top of his Nova Dragon for the final battle, and you've got Zidane flying on top of a yellow chocobo flying towards each other. Who's going to win? My money's on exactly. Kuja. <laughs> that should be fair, at least Zidane's got a bit of armor on. Well, <laughs> Kuja's a <laughs> There is that, yes. But you never know, like, Kuja's thong could be made of, like, adamantium or something. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Or like a solid steel, uh, a solid steel cut piece. I just don't know. To disrupt. I mean, you've got to think about the actual storyline here, Jay. It's not the strongest bit. This whole kind of disrupt the souls of terror, da da da. What is Garland? Well... Is it some kind of sorcerer? I think the easiest way to describe him is he's probably like the leader of terror. Or was quite high up anyway. Because Garland's actually in, I think, Final Fantasy 1. He's a big bad guy in that. In the first game ever, I think. Yeah, see, basically what we're finding out here, folks, is that Kuja's gone rogue. Why does Garland keep teleporting? He's just trying to annoy him. <laughs> He's just like, I don't have to walk. I can teleport. I don't see why at this point as well that Zid doesn't like just... Uh, pull out his sword and just like kill him, but... That's video game logic. It's too easy that. Kuja's got incredibly powerful going off on one. Well, basically, he's betrayed Garland, hasn't he? I think he's kind of just taking it to the next level, though. He's <clears throat> he's not really following Garland's rules anymore. And that, folks, what you just said there, was that as long as Kuja could cause as much destruction as possible, that would mean that more souls were dying on Gaia, meaning that Terra could merge with it. See, that's interesting. Apparently Zidane is more, power than, uh, is more powerful than Kuja. I don't really agree with that. I don't think he is. Do we get to see Garland in a cutscene? No, surprisingly. Don't see him once in a cutscene, Garland. Come on, Zid. Just go kill him, man. So basically, as the people of Gaia die, the Beifa tree was blocking, or the idea was to block the Gaian souls going back into the, like, being born again. And then the Terra souls could go on to Gaia. I think that's about right, Jay. What do you think? It's all very confusing. <laughs> Remember how yeah, that sums it up, I think. Me and you used to call the Eifa tree the Lifer tree, didn't we? I always remember that. It's not the Lifer tree at all. It's Eifa. 
I thought it'd be coming in hell. Looks like it does in some ways, the game spells. But if you look at it when you first go there, it's Ifa. Ah. See, look at that. Ifa tree. Because if it was an L, it'd be a capital L for the Lifer. It's interesting. I've, it's definitely confirmed. There's loads of people correcting me on it as well in my last Let's Play. Uh, so I was calling it Lifer then. No, that'll still be the Lifer tree to me. <laughs> Nostalgic. Now, unfortunately, I've just thought here what I might have a problem with. There's what there's something coming up in a minute, folks. Basically, that is a boss rush where we've got to take on a certain amount of bosses. Now, because I've only leveled up four party members, I'm not sure how the others are going to handle. Is it random teams you get selected, or yes, I think so. Ah. Ah. Hmm. So if I get my team the other four that I haven't leveled up, could be game over. Yeah, I always get Zid and in your team, but you I would have thought. Can't remember, you know, even I'm forgetting this part. So that's interesting as well. Kuja's lifespan is limited. Come on, Zid, go kill him. Although you have to question, like, Garland's motives here. Why would he create the ultimate being in the guise of a perverted monkey man? What was his thinking there? I don't know, maybe he just wanted a pet. So he wanted the Destroyer of Worlds to be his pet? Yeah, and he wanted a monkey. <laughs> well, maybe monkeys were extinct on uh, Gaia, like you say. We haven't seen a monkey, have we? Nope. My home is with them in Gaia. See, so Zidane's really struggling with this now. Oh, that's a pro line. I am the new angel of death. Yours. Well said, Zid. Okay, Gallon just killed us with one hit. Well, I suppose if Gallon created us, he probably has the power to take away. But that is, I mean, you've leveled up so hard. <laughs> and then he's like, nukes us down to level one or something. Hey, up, Fung boy. Haven't seen you for a while. Looking hot as always, Kuja. <laughs> <laughs> Looking hot as always. <laughs> That's, it's just so wrong. <laughs> it is Look just wrong. Number. Look at it. What is he doing? He's got such a feminine face. No one's going to bow down to your thong. Yeah, but if he has the power of the invincible, he could be commanding a very powerful thong. A thong with the power to destroy worlds. Oh no, I know this is the boss rush. I can sense it.
Zidane. So what uh, Gallon's trying to do here, I think, is pretty much erase his memory. And break his spirit. So this is so unlike today, and his confidence is absolutely knocked here. Well, all I can say is it is try and fight back if you can. Broken Zidane. I mean, it's, I was saying earlier, Jay, as I've played through Final Fantasy IX again, I couldn't stand Zidane on my last playthrough, but for some reason I've kind of clicked with him this time. He is fundamentally a, a good character. He's a good guy, he always has been. He's never been a bad character. He just annoyed me a bit, I think, at first, with his like pervertedness, but I've kind of learned to understand that it's more just being cheeky type thing. It's quite cheeky. You're cutting out slightly, by the way, Jay, on that last bit. Just. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Am I alright? You are. You are. Well, apart from your face, but you can't help that. Wow. So he's even sort of throwing off his friends here. Come on, Zidane. How dare you call Vivi a stupid brat? Vivi. Flaring awesome. right now. In fact, fuzz that, just cast death on him, Vivi. I haven't junctioned him to have defense against death. Do we know how old Aiko is? Yeah, she's about six, I think. Although she speaks like she's, I don't know, like a fully grown adult in the. All the things she says in that. Don't be insulting Aiko either. She saved your ass against Ozma. And she did actually there, Jay, because we got knocked out at one point, but she was the only one left standing, so we used Phoenix. And we won in the end. What are we up against here? Very easy enemy. You can one hit kill this. <laughs> you know what? I bet these enemies are just thinking, oh, fuzz. Oh, I didn't want it to kill it. it. Must have a bit more HP than that. These enemies must be crying inside, you know. No, to be fair, it's just 500 damage and you heal that for over half of it. Look, I mean, he can't even do any damage to us, we're healing too quickly. That's what I mean, auto-region and auto-haste. They just go hand in hand. <coughs> now, if this don't kill it, I'll be very surprised. And it didn't! Holy crud, how much HP this thing got! More than 20k. And look, she tranced us. It tranced us, and I just wasted an opportunity for a trance. 